Okay, so this is going to be the next project. This is uh, where the porta potty goes, and I'm going to turn it into a shower. So that's that corner covered there with the top flipped up. So I've got a few thoughts about here. I'm just going to, like you can see in under here is one of those wells for the water. There's a hole in there. The wiring, they ran a lot of the factory wiring in the little pontoons that are underneath. So I don't really want to make this into um, a permanent shower basin. So I was thinking I'd put a piece of plywood here, put the edges around, put some edges around the plywood, and then fiberglass the whole thing, and then screw it in from the bottom, hold it in from the bottom. And then if I ever needed to remove the shower pan, I can just undo the screws from the bottom and lift that shower pan out. So that's going to be what I'm going to try and do is, is I'm going to cut the contour here. I'm going to just use cardboard, same way that I do my cupboards. Lay the cardboard in here, get the right contour, and then build, uh, and then cut a piece of plywood. And then I'll build my shower pan to fit this spot. Okay, so I just wanted to explain what I was going to do here. This is my idea anyways, we'll see if this works. But uh, right here, I want the drain to be right in the corner here. So this is just a sink basket actually, but uh, I want it right in there. So to get that, I'm going to drill this hole with a hole saw. And then I'm going to router out around that hole to inset this down into that hole. I want to put it almost to the bottom. And then I'm going to router using this bit some channels. I'm going to router some channels all the way to the drain. From all the sides to the drain. And then hopefully when I lay my fiberglass in there it'll follow those channels and it'll be all in, it'll be inset here. I might have to put my drain in and just suck it down while it dries. But uh, anyways, that's the plan. So I hope that works. Okay, that's it. We're all routered out. You can see I got the channels routered here. All the channels running into the drain. And when I roll the fiberglass, well, when I uh, lay the fiberglass on, I'll roll it into the channels so that it'll, uh, all the water hopefully will run to the drain. And then the drain just is inset in here so that all the water runs in and then down. So for the sides, what I was gonna do is I just got this fiberglass sheeting it's just that stuff you can put on your shower or uh, on the outside of buildings. And I was just gonna wrap it around here, just air nail it on. And that'll give me something to run my fiberglass to. And once I fiberglass it, it'll, it'll make it nice and strong. So that's my next step.
Okay, here we go. So this is the final mold before I start putting fiberglass in it. You can see the thin fiberglass uh, shell that I just put around here. Routed this all out. And then I just siliconed all in here. Just so that it'll give my fiberglass a little bit of a radius to stick to. Then there won't be uh, air pockets in behind it. So did that with all the corners. All the corners of have the silicone in Okay, here's our finished product. So definitely not perfect, but it should be sealed up, no holes, and uh, it's definitely nice and solid. The sides are good and solid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trim this fiberglass off here now. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about making the shower rod. So the shower rod's gonna go in here around so that we can wrap the shower curtain on it. Now to make that shower rod, what I'm gonna do is I bought this, it's, it's one inch PVC pipe, comes in an eight foot length. So I bought a length of that. And then I've got my elbows, that's each corner for that. And then how I'm gonna hold it to the counter here is these uh, pipe holders. So it's just gonna pivot on that. And then what I was gonna do is just make it the width of this. And then on the bottom, so it clips in with a broom holder. And then over here on this side, I'm gonna put a broom holder on the back side of this where it can clip when it folds when it folds out, it'll clip into that broom holder. Okay, so here's the finished product. You can see that the PVC shower rod and then the curtain's in there, and it just goes down into that pan. Now, when we want to fold it up, it's just this broom holder here. Pop that out, and then the whole thing comes down. Not sure, maybe put a bag here or something to hold the shower curtain, but that'll be something we can figure out in a later time. There you go, you can kind of see it there. So that's on the back side. The shower curtain rod and then down and then into the pan. And outside. And uh, the shower rod is going to just snap into, there's another broom holder right on the bottom here. So you can see that broom. I don't know, it's kind of tough, but I don't know if you can see that broom holder there. So that just holds it there. And then when the, the countertop folds down, it'll just stay on the bottom of the countertop there. Okay, just to finish off the shower here, uh, we'll do the water supply. So I bought this tap uh, off of Amazon. It's just a cheap, it's actually just plastic. Well, maybe this is chrome, but the bottom part's just plastic. But it's a washer for a washer tub, uh, like a laundry 
washer tub and it's got this um, thread on it that has accepts hoses basically so I bought this um, little shower head here off of Amazon also it's just a plastic one but I like it because it's got a little on and off switch here on and off switch and then it came with this hose but to make the two fit I just got this adapter it's for um, it's a wa uh, it's a hose adapter and then just uh, a galvanized piece of pipe in here and then it, it screws onto that so that'll just screw onto there screw onto there and then once it's all on then we'll be able to just turn it and I, and I have it set up so it just goes full hot full hot gives us the um, the right temperature